Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we're going to be discussing the Millennial Revival. It is some data that I've seen from Barna as of late, and I think it's interesting because it does paint the picture that the Millennials are having the highest church attendance, generationally speaking. But is that really the case? That's the question that we're going to be asking, and that is the answer that I will be providing in this video. Now, on record, I have called out Barna for being woke. Not George Barna, but the organization of Barna Research Group. I do believe that they are woke. They are compromised. They have done initiatives that I believe are theologically compromised in a critical race theory direction. They have also done things that I believe that are just compromised in a glorified personality test type of direction. So I'm not a huge fan of Barna Research Group uh, to be distinguished from George Barna, but we're going to be taking a look at their data in this video nonetheless, so let's dive right on in. But before we get to that, I uh, just wanted to let you know about a way you can support this program. Uh, we have a Patreon-like system at evangelicaldarkweb.org slash join some tiers that give you more access to more content, but there's additional content that's completely free on evangelicaldarkweb.org anyway, but here's a little bit extra and you get even more because this is a Christian news gathering and commentating uh, ministry. So we have more articles than videos naturally. Because, you know, articles don't take as much effort to write as videos do sometimes. So anyway, we're going to be taking a look at this Barna research. And their headline is a new chapter in millennial church attendance. This was written uh, pretty a while ago, but we never really talked about it at the time. I just think it's an interesting place to start off with in 2023. So this is a graph that is pretty major in my opinion. It's definitely one of the big hot takeaways from this. And it's a weekly attendance by generation chart. It shows that the boomers had the edge even through 2021, but in 2022, this number completely stagnates while both Gen X and Millennials surpass it. The interesting part about this is that Gen X is depicted at having 15% church attendance rate in 2021, and they rise to 20 or to 31%. Uh, getting second place in this category in 2022, Millennials. In 2019, had 21%. In 2020, they had 25%. This dips down to 17% in 2021. But in 2022, this skyrockets to 39%. Now, for those of you who can do math, that is more than double. So, that's a pretty astounding rebound that is twice the number of millennials attending church in 2022 than in 2021 why would this be the case but we also got to look at boomers who in 2020 were at 32 percent and then two years later everyone dipped in 2021 but in 2022 boomers dipped uh only recovered to 25 percent so they have a net uh six percent or seven percent decrease from 2020, Gen X has a net two increase, and then Millennials have a net 14 point increase. So everyone's increasing but boomers. And as much as you know, we want to throw shade at one of the most liberal generations in American history, I'm not quite sure this data really tells the whole story. This chart is very good for conversation starting and clickbaiting, perhaps. But the rest of this seems to put some major doubt in this thought process, in this hypothesis of a millennial revival. So that's the first chart. The second chart is this weekly attendance by uh, trends by race, ethnicity, 
the main driver of this growth is non-white millennials. I, I'm a little curious as to how they define white versus non-white. Are Hispanics included in white or non-white? I'm not entirely sure. It does not seem to specify. So this is the big driver of the growth. That's what they want you to know in the article that non-white millennials attend church at a 45% rate whereas whites are at a 35% rate. So, big difference makers being the non-white millennials, who, in 2020, were below the white millennials. Another topic that, uh, another chart, this would be chart number three, is that millennials most likely to hop churches and embrace hybrid Worship. So this is a headline incorporating two charts. So over the last two years, there was a lot of church hopping. So, but let's look at the people who stopped attending altogether for, and let's do the breakdown. The average across all three generations, there is no Gen Z for the purposes of this, probably because there's not enough adult Gen Z population. But uh, mo- uh, millennials are at 13% dropped out of the church entirely. Gen X is at 15% dropped out of the church entirely. Boomers are at 22% entirely stopped attending church. 22%. That's astonishing. That's, you know, one in five to put a nice round number on it, stopped attending church entirely. Now we don't have a breakdown on what churches these are. Are they, are these mainline churches? Is this your uh, gay Methodist church down the street? What churches are these people not attending? I'm not entirely sure, but we know that one in five uh, boomers dropped out of the church entirely. The highest of these, of the generations. And this is where, to me, the hating on boomers does kind of come to a halt. So the next category is I have started attending a new church. For millennials, that's 8%. I would be in this 8% category personally as a millennial. I would be in this 8% category, 8%. For Gen X, 7%. And for boomers, this would be 6%. Boomers stayed more loyal to their churches whether good or bad, throughout the last three years. Whereas millennials were more likely to jump around, but this is only just attending a new church. And I guess this means singular, not uh, plural, because when we get to plural, when we get to people systematically hopping churches, millennials were church hopping at 22%, that's one in five, and I'm rounding, uh, Gen X was at 18% and the boomers were at 7%. So the boomers stayed loyal, loyal to their home church for better or worse. Whereas the millennials and Gen X were much more likely to cut bait and run, whether for better or for worse. We can't necessarily judge the morality of these situations. I think there's plenty of justifiable reasons to stop attending and find a church that wants to meet for worship. I think there's a plenty of uh, reasons to do that. People have become more transient over the last few years. So people are moving. So naturally people would attend a new church. I would imagine millennials and Gen X are probably more transient generations. So a couple explanations for this. And then we have the people Let's say I attended the same church uh, as before uh, the lockdowns. And for millennials, that's 57%. So a majority. Gen X, that's 60%, a super majority. And for boomers, 65%, which is nearly just shy of two thirds. So very interesting numbers. The boomers remained loyal if they stayed. They remained loyal if they did not, but they were most likely to up and leave the church entirely. 
So this is where we talk about the attendance. And this, I believe, is where the millennial revival theory does fall apart. I think it falls apart a lot right here. So how are you primarily attending your church? This to me is the kicker for in person, just in person. Millennials were at 45%. That's not a majority. And this is strictly in person. 45%. Gen X, 49%. Just shy of a majority. Boomers, 65%. Just shy of two-thirds. Just the same as the last one who remained completely loyal, for better or for worse. But these people... 65% attending in person, which is for better. And the average across all three generations here was 54%. So the boomers bringing up the curve here. uh, And we'll give them credit for that. So how are you typically attending your primary or primarily attending your church? And this is the hybrid answer, which is both online and in person. And the answer is, and this is a, again, 2022 data, but it's based off the past six months. And for millennials, it's 33% do a hybrid. This is one out of three. This is thir- you know, one third. For Gen X, the amount is the same. Also one third. For boomers, it is 13%. 13% of boomers are doing a hybrid of online and in-person attendance. 13%. So, they got 20 points on that. The other generations do. And then, let's do strictly online. Uh, Actually, let's... Let me summarize. The average was 26% hybrid. Across all three generations. Now, let's do the online worship experience. For millennials, this was 21%. One in five. For Gen X, uh, 18%, which is a little closer to one in six. And then for boomers... 22%. 22%. So they're actually attending online the most. Not hybrid, but online the most. And I'd love to know the theological breakdown of these numbers because they don't... Barna doesn't always stratify for theological breakdowns. They just don't. And the average was 20%, which is 1 in 5. So what do we have here? We have Gen X who's actually, you know... Winning in this particular category of actually being in person. And if you combine the in person and hybrid, they're actually winning. Gen X is actually winning here. And uh, the boomers are actually coming in last on this metric. More boomers are attending online. And yet, as far as in person goes, they're the firmest in this category. But as far as the people that are just up and just sitting at home and not actually attending church, they're the worst in this category. However, the millennials, who are only one point better, have far fewer excuses than the boomer generation. So it's a tough way, tough break. It's hard to really uh, keep in mind uh, how we should quite view that. But let's go back to this first chart here that says uh, that millennials are attending 33% or 39% uh, weekly church attendance. And to me, I think there's some big holes in trying to draw conclusions based on this data. I think there's some holes in that. Gen X might be the most consistent. And I think boomers are a little all over the place. But so are millennials. So 
this is a tough uh to me we don't have enough conclusions to draw off of this data i might say it's real i might say it's fake depending on you know the exact experience but the question is what churches are these people attending and why what's driving the growth 2021 to 2022 everyone rose substantially except for the boomers they did not rise substantially and they fell to last place generationally What's driving the growth? Is it that millennials have children now? Is it uh, the culture war issues? A lot more questions are raised by this data than answers provided for in this data. Which I guess is the limitation of Barna Research is that they can't tell you much about the data that they gather. But nonetheless, them and Lifeway are like the two biggest Christian research firms. They're the two biggest. So that's really all I got to say about that. Again, uh, some people have kind of ran with this that millennials have like a bit of a revival going on. I'm a little skeptical of that because, you know, I'm not super seeing it in person myself, but I don't get out that much, I guess. Uh, but a lot of people when they, in the comment sections of when I'm seeing this image over the past week said that, you know, my church is mostly boomers, you know, what's going on. And, I think some people want to play the generational warfare with this data, but at the end of the day, the boomers were the most devoted in-person worshipers. Strictly in-person, I should say. However, they were also the biggest dropout generation. So, this data is all over the place. It's hard to draw conclusions on it. I should hope that, and you know, we should pray that, the good churches saw this growth, the bad churches saw the falling away, and God will sort them out and create revival in our own country. That should really be our hope at the end of the day. But anyway, I thought this was interesting data. I wanted to share it with the class. And if you like this kind of content, also subscribe to the channel if you are new. That is the least you can do. Drop the like button on your way out. And have a blessed day, and we will catch you on the next one.